Hi, this is Aaron from the Mobia Science Center. Today we're going to be showing you guys an awesome air pressure experiment. So, what we're going to do is, I have my bottle right here. Now, my bottle actually right now is full. It's full of air. It has air on the inside pressing out, it has air on the outside pressing in. Now, it may not seem like it, but the weight of air is about 14.7 pounds per square inch. So, for every square inch on the bottle, there's 14.7 pounds pressing in. But on the inside, there's air pressing out at exactly 14.7 pounds. Now, we're going to show that weight of air to you with the help of my good friend, Egbert. Now, Egbert has a little problem. He cannot fit into the bottle. So what we're going to do is we're going to use air pressure, more specifically an imbalance of air pressure, to push Egbert into the bottle. Now to create an imbalance, we either need to increase the air pressure around us or decrease the pressure inside the bottle. Now, a lot easier to decrease the pressure inside the bottle. Easiest way for me to do this is with fire. See, fire has this effect on air. When you heat up air, it expands. So we're going to heat up the air in the bottle with a piece of paper that we light on fire. Fire needs three basic ingredients for it to burn. It needs a fuel source like paper, it needs an ignition source like my lighter, and it needs plenty of air. So here's the idea. I'm going to light the piece of paper on fire, put it inside the bottle. Then I'm going to place Egbert on top. Once Egbert is on top of the bottle, no air can get in. The fire will continue to burn until it uses up all of the available air, at which point there will be zero pounds pressing out, 14.7 pounds pressing in, and Egbert will be pushed into the bottle. Very important, ladies and gentlemen. Science can push, science can pull, but science never sucks. Okay, let's give this a try. So we're going to light the paper on fire. Also remember, fire is a tool, it is not a toy. We're not playing with it today, we're using it to do a scientific experiment. Once this is burning well, we will make sure it goes into the bottle. We will place Egbert on top. And just like that. As the fire uses up all the oxygen, there is not enough force pressing out, and the air pressure outside presses Egbert in. One other problem we run into, though, how do we get Egbert back out? What we need to do is create another pressure imbalance. Just like the very first imbalance, we decrease the pressure inside the bottle. This time, we will increase the pressure inside the bottle. Make it greater than 14.7 pounds per square inch, which is outside. We should get Egbert back out again. All right, here we go. One big breath, and we should make Egbert free. So that's the air pressure experiment. Air weighs 14.7 pounds per square inch, and you can make it do work by creating air pressure imbalances. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I want to invite you all to come and visit us at the Mobius Science Center. Thank you.